Take two, typing Viper here, with a new typewriter, the Remington Standard, over a pipe, and a few other people have um, clearly taken me as a Remington uh, type of guy, even though I like Royals, but I did see this on shopgoodwill.com these margins are set all the way well for good reason let's test it out I just took this out of the box by the way enjoying some lane 1q in this beautiful champion briar so as you can see here, needs some cleaning. You know, paint has a lot of uh, dirt in it, along with the keys. What I'm seeing is that this was really uh, used quite often. Some down here. I'm guessing whoever owned it was left-handed, because this is the side. Usually, it's right here that's worn. Huge uh, release there. I'm not sure what this switch is because you've got mm, four settings right here. I'm thinking this is black, neutral, in between, red. I don't know. So, yeah, that doesn't work. That seems to be like halfway. Red. Okay, so let's leave that there for now. Platinum is still nice and soft. The tension for the keys. Backspace works. This plate here slides off. Has this really cool uh, springy releases on that. It doesn't look too bad inside. I've seen a hell of a lot worse. I'm thinking it's probably been sitting in an office somewhere. Has both of these covers, which is really nice because uh, ribbon can be a huge pain in the. Uh, rear end if those aren't on there. I'm surprised to see it has these uh, plastic sides here. I don't see that too much on the portable Remington Rands. All action is good. All the keys seem to uh, feel like nothing is sticky. But I'm gonna lubricate those anyways. Made in the USA. So, how about let's get that back on here? Nice solid metal body. Uh, almost 40 pounds when it was shipped. decals on the back still look really good so overall really clean solid machine dirty but is to be expected ten dollars and uh, aside from needing some cleaning uh, it appears to be fully functional, and it looks like um, has been uh, well used. Of course, uh, I know you can see it here. 
the black has been used to the point where the ribbon needs to be changed. Nobody has typed in the red. That's why I always get all black ribbon. So. Now the dilemma is, do I keep it for myself or do I sell it? Hmm. And on the next episode of Typing Paper, we might solve that dilemma.